eight diamonds I got from one, eight, nine, ten diamonds on my second episode. What's up you guys, Henry here and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft survival series and we are here on Pork Chop Adventures and since the last episode I've been doing a lot of preparation um, as you can see here my pond is looking lovely as well as Henry's pot Henry's Parsimonious prey blue, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, that's your that's your task for today, guys. What you've got to do is find out what that word means. Um, I think I've heard of it before, but I'm not quite sure if I spelt it or pronounced it right or whatever. Um, so you guys need to go and look it up on Google, say in the comments what it is, and then I will be very happy and I'll be able to make sense what I'm actually doing. Um, but today I'm actually using Huawei's custom default edit. I think it looks really nice and really colourful. Um, so I'm going to be using that for this video. So as you can see, um, I've built up this little tree that was like floating on my Pueblo here. Or floating on my Lake Henners. And I've done, I've done some little um, extensions to it. I've got some wood in the bottom. And I've also got a branch coming out like that and I think that looks really cool because it like a sign like just greets you when you come out but I'm not going to be living in this prey blue for long um, I am actually hopefully going to start on a new house today um, I've also fixed my sky as well I do have the sun and stuff now um, I because of Optifine I can have it without like without having to put on loads of other settings that will lag my Minecraft so it's nice and bright now with the sun and this texture pack here um, so I've started a little wheat farm here around the, um, I've started a little wheat farm around my pond and yeah, so I can get lots of wheat and I've got lots of items now, I've got lots of iron and what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to start crafting some tools, um, I'm not going to craft any armor yet because I don't really need armor, I can probably have like leather armor, so I'm going to craft some iron tools here um, I'm gonna craft an iron pickaxe and also a shovel um, I always call it a spade for some reason I think that's just English language I, we always like refer it to the beach or something we love the beach here although there's like hardly any beaches in um, UK or there is it's just that they're not as nice as like ones in America or Australia or places like that we're not that hot of a country here but I've got lots of items here. Um, I've been collecting lots of mob jobs. Um, I've got some of this here. You can see I've been busy at work. And in here is all the materials we're gonna um, we're gonna be building our house out of, and it's gonna be very, very snazzy. But I've got something to show you guys before I go and um, go and start building. So um, I haven't actually explained. I actually finished off the Pueblo. Um, if you don't know what a Pueblo is, it's basically a starter house that I usually build at the beginning of my series or at the beginning of survival that I play. Um, I'll put a annotation on the screen to the tutorial I did to make this. I actually did a tutorial on how to make this if you ever wanted to make it. Um, but it, it looks lovely now. I've got like birch wood in the corners um, here and I haven't added a fireplace. I've just put two furnaces here. I've got the chest, double, two double chests there, uh, crafting tables on the floor. And it's quite plain. I've got a little skylight here um, just to let some light in. But yeah, the other thing that I was going to show you, if I go down here into my mine, I've been busy making this nice. I've added lots of steps and I've been strip mining. I know it's pretty early to do strip mining, but I've been, um, at, the, at the end of last video, I was um, mining away this through the night and I was strip mining and yeah diamonds diamonds like straight away I, I started a full wide mine because um, I've got some ideas to make this really pretty um, I was thinking of adding like little pillars holding up the roof 
um, as you would see like in real life because obviously with Minecraft nothing's gonna fall down on top of you unless it's gravel but in real life I was trying to try and make it a little bit more interesting here so um, I did do some edits to Huawei's texture pack that's why I've got these um, my um, well they're not mine but I, I added this texture with the nice smooth stone and diamond straight away this is one two three four five six eight diamonds I got from one eight nine ten diamonds on my second episode and that was off recording that was completely legitimate ten diamonds that is pretty snazzy I'm gonna save these for later in the series and also we found some lapis right here um, but that's the thing with strip mining if you strip mine straight off your first night what I usually do is I don't worry about a bed because I'm a nice person and I don't usually kill the sheep so what I do is wait till I have shears um, but through the night instead of just sitting in my house all night with no bed I usually start up a strip mine like I did last episode and through like in between the episodes I've obviously gone on some sort of loot spree here so I've got diamonds, lapis and redstone straight away and also iron that I've shown you in my chest so we've started pretty good in this series I don't want to muck it up or anything and um, there's a nice lava pool here but that's all I really got to and I found all of these all of these lovely resources and it's the, I think the lapis glows. Um, that might be a, an addition to a Wahwee's texture pack. It does. It glows. That is, that is awesome. And I think the redstone does as well. I'm not too sure. The diamonds. I, the diamonds are a little bit different. Um, but I've also leveled up as well. I've got 15 levels in between the episodes. So, so that's really good as well. So I'm going to put these away um, just so I don't lose them at all. And then we're going to start working on our house. I want to get a little bit done this episode. Um, this house is probably going to have us for the whole survival. Um, in my last series that I did, I don't know if you, any of you um, watched that series. It was a very short series. And there was nothing much really happening um, in there. All I really did was die loads of times and... I took like 10 episodes to build a house or I didn't even finish it. Um, I think my ninth episode was quite good, it's called. It's quite it's quite recent actually, if you look at my videos, because I haven't made many videos. Um, it's not very far down, like in terms of you scrolling down, it's not really that far. It's called Fred the Swagalicious Chicken, um, that's what the video is called. And that was like the only good video that I did, I just made some good progress in that but I didn't really make very good progress for the rest of the series so I'm going to try and make some really good progress in this um, this series. Um, as I said in the last video, if you haven't seen it already I'd go and check it out but I said I'm going to try and do everything that you can do in Minecraft now because literally everyone's done a survival series apart from me or main people did it, people got bored and that was it and I'm experiencing for 1.8 I've never really killed the ender dragon before properly and I'm going to experience it with all of you and it's not very good that it's snowing up here it's going to be hard to to build so um, if you remembered in the last video that little lava fall down there um, I actually there was actually like a little floating overhang over here so what I've done is I've cleared out a little area up here and I think this would be quite quite a nice cozy place to build it um, it's like half snowing and half raining out here it's quite funny I don't know why the rain doesn't like stop the snow that would be quite interesting but my inventory's full up I can't put any of these away what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna make a chest I'm probably gonna make it right over here because I don't wanna like intersect with all the the building that I'm gonna be doing today so let's put some of these snowballs in I might as well put loads of these in um, so what I'm doing is kind of a traditional kind of style it's kind of like I started with my old house on my last series um, I think I'm just going to experiment as I go along so I'm going to have like classic corners like this like little pointy corners and then I'm going to use the birch I'm going to use like 
birch oak wood. Um, I made a little bit too much for now, anyway. Uh, I'm going to use stone brick as well, like as the walls. Um, I've got a little brief design that I was going to use. Kind of the same kind of design as I did last time, but a little bit, um, or last time, I mean, like, in my last fail series that I did. I, I'm, I'm going to try not to talk about that because... <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. I want to. I want a fresh start. I want a fresh new ex experience. So I'm gonna have these birch here are gonna be like the windows, and then I'm gonna have a door. I might have just a door there. Um, I'll see how it all fits first. Um, I guess I'll put it right on the edge like this, and then one, two, three. Um, I guess I'll have a little double door here. That would be quite snazzy. Um, so let's do that. Um, I don't know why I'm using the word snazzy a lot. It seems to be very miss... It, it, it seems to be repeated too much. Like, you shouldn't really repeat the, your vocab your vocab that much. That's why I, I um, asked you guys what that word meant. I've seen it in English before. It was pretty random, like, to name it that. I think it means, like... I think it's, like, sadness or something. I, it's something like that. So parsimonious. I don't know if they say that in America, but I'm not too sure. So let's have stone brick like... Wait, this isn't right, is it? Ugh. I'm going to get rid of... I think I'm only going to have a one a one wide door. Well, I'm not really going to need a door up here, am I? Because I'm, I'm just climbing up this waterfall at the, in the meantime, so I'm not too sure what I should do. Um... What I was thinking of like making how the the episodes like in terms of whoop, um, in terms of how long the episodes are, um, I'm probably gonna have them 15 minutes probably around around about 15 minutes. Um, I find that 20 minutes is kind of a bit too long for um, for a le let's play. I am doing this weekly. Um, if you want to see the rest of this series, if you've only just like clicked on this video and seen it. But I'm going to do this weekly, and this is 2014, fresh start, fresh Minecraft, just all over again. It's like Minecraft never happened. I'm just experiencing for myself, and I want to, I want to really enjoy this series with you. So, and by you, I mean like the interwebs or whatever. Or I'm just uploading um, me, my experiences of Minecraft. That's basically what's happening here. Um, so I might have the door on the back actually, depends. I'm going to have two windows in the side like I've done, um, just because I don't want it too big. Um, and then, yeah, it's pretty small, it's going to be a pretty small house. Um, I might dig into the mountain, if you know what I mean. Hmm, this is quite interesting. What I, mean, what I could do here is like have a little slant, hmm, hmm. This is the good thing about building, you get to yet to make up some stuff um hmm yeah I'm gonna keep that if it all fits in it doesn't really but I don't really know I'm gonna remove this put that there um I'm just gonna get some more stone brick I've been busy smelting all that cobblestone I was using um when, that I got when I was strip mining so um yeah, I've got loads of stone brick now, and the stone brick's pretty, like, bold on this texture pack. I really like it. This actually works out the way I've done it. Um, I'm going to build up two, two, and then I'm going to have the stone brick on top. So th those little gaps that I've left is where the little windows um, are going to be. Um, I'm going to use window panes, and I think that would be look really good. Like, these are kind of like window bars. Yeah. Well, not window bars, like... You sometimes has, have like those, or some houses anyway, have like a, a little, um, those little bars over their window. I don't know what they're called, but, um, well I do know what they're called, I just forgot. Uh, I'm not sure what they're called actually. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too sure what I'm, I'm thinking of right here. Um, I know what I'm thinking of, I, know, I don't know the word for them. They're just like little wooden shut. They're like shutters, if you know what I mean. That's what I'm doing. So, 
Um, I'm gonna do this. That's my first floor, actually. I might have quite a lot of floors. Um, so in in the corners are all gonna be wood like this. Um, oh, is that lightning? I think uh, it might be lightning. Um, I can't really hear much sound. Am I? I've got sound on. Um, oh, I don't have much of the weather on. I don't think. Yeah, I didn't put much of the weather on. Hmm. I'm gonna put some more music on. Um, I think music's quite interesting. I can't really hear the sounds that much um, at the moment because I'm not wearing any headphones. Um, I don't tend to wear headphones while recording. Um, I usually just like play my sound out of speakers. But I usually like reduce. I've tried to like reduce the sound for this video. Well, actually, before I do something. Um, with this wood, I was gonna do. Wait, I was gonna do that, 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 that. So that's the kind of style that I'm going for here, like log, um, long, going like that, and then a log going the other way. So I, d I don't know what I was doing here. I was having two layers of cobblestone or stone brick. I mean, um, I'm gonna put like a this. So it's gonna be a log facing that way, a log facing up log facing that way, a log facing up and it's gonna make kind of a really nice pattern on the outside um, that's what I think anyway so let's just continue this and then I guess I'm gonna go and end off the video so yeah I, ho I really hope you enjoyed um, this video, I hope you stay for the whole series if you're new and let's just make sure this all joins up um, like that I guess and yeah my house has turned out I can't really see it from down here I'm gonna or up here I'm gonna go down through my little water stream um, I'll probably have like a elevator sooner so something really cool like a really cool way of um, getting up onto the mountain there so let's go and have a look I need to eat um, I've got lots of apples from where I was cutting down so many trees but if you look at the forest compared to last video I've cut away like all of this. Um, I've mainly just gone onto Minecraft, done some work on the thing um, on my world, and then I just um, then today I've just got so much I've done like since week. Um, I'll try not to do too much um, off camera. I'll do what like you don't really what you don't what people don't really want to see if you know what I mean. But I can't really see the house that much. It looks pretty good. Wait, let me turn my render distance up. I have it on tiny just because it lags. That looks nice. I like the look of that house up there. I'm using Optifine here to zoom in. It look it, it looks cosy. That's all I can say. It's gonna be much bigger than a prey blue. Um, I'll probably have like a bedroom in there, a living room, a kitchen, stuff like that. I'll have more stories. Um, so I'm gonna be working on that in the next episode. Let's just turn my render distance down before before I lag before my computer just explodes. <laughs> yeah, so um hopefully you enjoyed you, you you enjoyed the video. I hope you stay till the end. And yeah, I love you all so much for watching. Um that sounds weird. <laughs> Thank you all for watching and I better go inside because it's raining. But I'll see you in my next video. Adiós.